five, we are going to construct an O drive, um, which is a line graph um, with our class boundaries and our cumulative frequency. So this is a frequency distribution that I constructed in um, a previous video on frequency distributions that you can go back and watch if you would like to see where these numbers came from and how I got cumulative frequencies. Um, but we're just going to take them now and graph them in an O drive. So I have along here already my class boundaries, um, starting at 65.5 and get, including all of them up to 100.5. These are our years and these are pennies um, that were collected in 1999, a group of 40 pennies and then written down their years. And then, um, so I labeled that years and then our vertical axis is our cumulative frequency. So I'll go ahead and label that as well. We always want to label our graphs well so that the readers of our graphs know what we are, what we are doing with them, okay? Um, our ogive is a line graph with um, connecting the dots. So it's like a scatter plot where you connect the dots and we'll start and we're just going to look at our cumulative frequency um, and it's a little strange in that you're always going to start your ogive at zero um, with your lowest class boundary and the way you want to kind of think of this is this is the number of data values that are less than this value so in this case we don't have any values below 65.5 so we have zero here as our first point on our ogive and then as we move to our next point, 70.5, we'll use our cumulative frequency of one. I'm counting by fives on my vertical axis here, so this is just very close. And then we move up at 75.5, the number of data values less than it is four. Then at 80.5, it jumps up to eight. 85.5, it's 12. 90.5, it's 18. This is 20, so 18. Um, and then up to 28, 95.5. And then finally 40, the 100.5. And then we would connect these dots for an ogive as a line graph, our cumulative frequencies. Okay, there's your ogive of this data set.